Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. It's the 72nd episode. Sorry, I wasn't here last week, so everything's thrown off. Ian did a great job handling everything. That's right. I you worked piece of shit. into the night. Into the I night. Care. I actually did work into the night, uh, which is very rare. Okay. Uh, but it happened, uh, and I'm back, so sorry about no episode last week. I was just going to make all the Ian jokes right out the gate. Um... <laughs> We are here. Sorry, the song is lasting longer than it usually does. Uh, it's funny because I can't hear it at all. <laughs> I, I turned it on for you guys, but I think I turned it on too late and I don't think it's coming through. Folks, it's episode 72. It's local chat. Everything is fine. Everything is wonderful. Jason's here. What up? I'm, here. I'm so Jason, happy. Listen, yes. I need to know. Have you drank chocolate milk? Yes, I do. Uh, I have. I do. And I have. Uh, uh, Oh my! How long was your abstention? Four weeks, like a month. Oh my god! Wait, well, dang! Yeah, it was long. Honestly, yeah. every time I every time I go to the grocery store now, I look for chocolate milk, and I haven't bought any in a couple months, and it's because they either don't have it, or they have it in gallon size. Or the one time I found it, it was four dollars for a half gallon of chocolate milk. That's and so I was wow! Like, yeah. That's I, too I, much. I, yeah, I always I usually get to two half gallons, and then that covers what? me for like a week and a half. Was That's I good. reading I, some fact about chocolate? Is it like chocolate milk's good for hydration or something? I mean, or it makes me brown thirsty. cows. <laughs> it goes for brown cows. No, there's some <laughs> runner tip about uh, about chocolate milk I read. That if you I drink mean, chocolate milk, milk instead milk, of regular so... milk, it's like something. I feel I like, know. I look, I'm not trying to be mean, but like the whole thing is that Jason ran lately and was not i know that's why i think it's funny so i'm pretty sure you're making it up Uh, like all these associations are there um you know i just want to point out my favorite discord interaction with jason which is uh a couple days ago i messaged him you want a local chat this thursday oh right 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 right. he replied grabbing food (laughs) grabbing food (laughs) so i I didn't respond to like four hours later yeah (laughs) Oh, you said it was okay. I was like, I probably should respond back like that I didn't mean to. Yeah, that was I know. <laughs> I mean, immediately, as soon as he said that, I said, well, he's messaging the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I was late for a show. Oh, yeah. I just thought it was so funny. Um, I, I did that at work yesterday. I had some like copy paste, which was like two sentences, and it was about vehicle voltage. And I was like, if the vehicle's battery voltage is between four to 12 volts in the input, it will not work on the PTO. And I just sent it to the wrong person, and they were like, what? And I was like, I'm sorry, I was in the wrong chat. <laughs> I like technical specs out of left field. I copy pasted that um, mother and baby smoking uh, <laughs> picture into the GameSpot Slack by accident. And I thank God it did not hit enter. Um, as a video editor, oh yeah, the worst thing is I'll like click to answer a message, and it's not that like Discord or Slack, whatever. And then I'll go back over since I have two monitors. I'll look at my screen, and I'll just start hitting spacebar and like C and V to like do all the different stuff, and nothing's happening. And I look over at my Slack, and it's just a bunch of spaces, <laughs> random letters and stuff. I'm like, yeah. oh crap. Um, the, I one time I accidentally put my office work password into teams chat into a random teams chat and it's because it's because when my computer boots up one of the things that boots up right away is like the work vpn it's like log into this vpn but it but it took me a while to realize if you start typing into it when it first pops up then teams or any other application will pop up in the background and steal your text from it and you won't even realize it unless you're looking at it and realizing it's not typing into the field anymore so one time i accidentally did that hit enter and i looked up i was like where'd it go and then there's a teams chat with my password on the side and i was like oh no that's not good that's not good (laughs) our uh my job does the great thing where it logs you out of everything once a week um that's pretty good we have to i mean it's great we have like two factor and all that stuff it's great but it's like I some something happened and now it's every week at like twelve oh five it happens and I have the daily stand or like daily stand up where I present at twelve fifteen yeah so it's always like if I forget I open the meeting click over to the the tab to read my stuff and it says you've been logged out of Asana and I'm like no no <laughs> um, that's weird though that is it so it's like regularly scheduled at a time and it's not like it's not like 30 minutes since your last time no, I, type of I thing? think it's 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 a week from your last time so i keep having to log in right before the meeting oh so it keeps happening 
because of my idiocracy. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Yeah, that's that's happened a couple times. Um, it's weird. I mean, it's annoying, but it's like it's great because no one will ever steal my stuff for more than a week. Um, yeah. Folks, we have video games to talk about because this is a video game podcast, not talking about work podcast and chocolate milk yes. and Kirby. Well, <laughs> you can combine those to be fair, but or yeah, crabs. Okay, you can combine all three of those. Get crabs while oh, having work. because of my shirt. I thought yeah. Yeah. I almost had crab cakes for dinner. Uh, I'm wearing a... I don't even know what... Kingdom Death. Um, I I played... I'm not going to go first. It, it's, Jason played the most. I think he gets to go first. Jason goes first. I don't know about, goes I don't know about played the most. Okay, well, that doesn't really count. Because I play the same games. Like, I don't <laughs> expand my... Counts. I don't expand my... You should thing, try playing so. a Fire Emblem game. I think you would like that. Yeah, I know. Uh, if you want me to go first, you <laughs> can. Uh, I've been be playing Stardew, which is a good game. Everybody should cool. play. Cool. I'm basically uh, yeah. I'm very jealous okay. of you because I wanted I've I've wanted to play Stardew again, and something just popped up. I forget where it was. Like someone like Stardew. Oh, it was the 20 million sales figure popped up yes. this week for stardew and i was like man i should play stardew oh and on the radio the lady the dj lady talked about stardew valley in between a set of songs she's like oh, i think i'm gonna go home and play some stardew valley tonight I was Look, like, yeah. we're on a tangent because you mentioned the radio and i just want to rip you for listening to the radio <laughs> hey, I, I listen to the radio though. anyways um yeah, i'm jealous so i was i was gonna start playing it the other day but then i had a friend on steam play it was playing it and one of my like best friends and I was like, I don't want to start playing it and then seem like I'm trying to ask them to play it with me. So I didn't end up playing Stardew. Oh, you Anyways. gotta have no shame or go incognito mode. That's what you gotta do if you really worry about that. I should have done that. Yeah. Um yeah. I wasn't in the right. When the grind space. is up there, like you gotta have the grind within you to you know, play these I, games. And the other thing the is like, do I start from my old game or do I f yeah, I've never I, beaten I, it? I, I usually restart every if I forget yeah, why it was. Think... That takes a while. That's what I do yeah, with, like, sucks. everything, so might as well. Yeah, and then you get demotivated again. It's great. So I've been doing Anyways, that. Anyways, how's Stardew? Oh, it's great. I like a, a, They added a new feature. I haven't even played since they added, like, the island off the coast or whatever. I haven't even gotten oh, there yet. There's so. an island off the coast? Yeah, there's, Malta? like, another island you can go we to. do a stream. So. Malta. Catalina. I'm trying to get those guys to re They played Catalina. it a couple times, but I'm trying to get them Hawaii? to play it more. <laughs> It's not Hawaii, but it's pretty close. I think it has a like volcano, so maybe it is Hawaii. Uh, is Lanublar? <laughs> it's just a huge like fire island, and people go to the beach and just chill. So I don't know. Fire Instead island, of, like, fucking work, off the rails. Yeah, it's <laughs> off the rails. It's crazy. Uh, Anyways, what else have you been playing? So, so besides that, uh, I've been making in my free time. <gasps> the uh the ultimate mega tier list because everybody always asks like oh. Oh, which fire one was the best or whatever i'm like well you can't really answer that because there's too many intangibles and tangibles so i have like a tier list going where i have four like main things like presentation uh gameplay balance and then oh, like wow and then it's going like in depth of like okay map design then like this this i have like up to i think it's like 80 categories now where i would rate something out of uh I'm Jeez. gonna keep going, cause like there's too much to rate, and it's just yes, hard. Yes. Yeah, so, but like, I do I, I do like the approach of instead of giving up or being subjective, you're just like, no, I'm going to break this down into clear cut so, objective yeah. categories. Correct. Yeah. I'm gonna try. It. It's gonna be hard as shit. Is this a spreadsheet? I, like, I need. To I'm gonna see try to make an Excel. I'll probably have to make an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. Just yes. Uh, but I have to yes. have somebody probably make it for me. Probably David from, uh, because he knows Excel probably better than yeah. I would. So. Well, you, could, it, you could use Google Sheets if you wanted to. That's I wouldn't say yeah. easier, but it's easier to work with. I would say probably yeah. So like I have per like four major categories. I have like I have like voice acting now. Like I have like everything. Like anything That's you can think awesome. of. And I keep adding stuff more and more. Oh god, that is such a great cool project. Because like know, some we... are do things better. Like some do presentation better. Yeah. I'm like that, I don't want to discount that. Or like some have like better, you know, like character design or something like that. But they're awful yeah. in terms of like playing the game. But I want to like, like you said, like you said, voice acting. I mean, personally, I would be like, if it has voice acting, that's a little bit of a bonus. But then at the same yes. time, we've got to compare the voice acting. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I have to compare some games. I have uh, there's one category that's unique features. And I have like that, like this is just a purely a bonus for the game to get like another oh, yeah. statistical point because it has something that adds that none of them other have. So, yeah, I'm trying to do that. That'll take a while. And 
I don't know, maybe make a video out of it. But the highlight of what I've been playing, and by playing, I mean, I wanted to throw this guy uh, at you guys. There has been an assassination attempt oh. on a character that you guys might be aware of. Uh, we were doing, a, uh, they were doing a stream Tracer? on, no, not Tracer, close. Mercy. Some would say these people are, they have, they, some would say these characters are pretty similar. And by similar, you'll find out that they're not at all. But there's been an assassination attempt on a character called Wario. Uh, on the save data cast, they were raiding character mascots against each other. I was not on the stream. Uh, yes. And they had, they had like, Warrior versus Sora was one of the rounds. And Zach, uh, usually is wrong with his opinions. He's one of my yeah. best friends, brother, for, for, but he, he, his opinions are very lukewarm. I'm surprised he, he probably says them for clout. Mm -hmm. But one time I actually agree with him is his stance on Wario and everybody else disagreed that there isn't a good Wario game. And this is like raised a lot of division among the save data guys. Is there a good warrior? Like are the, you know, warrior wear games good? Are the warrior world games good? So like, okay, when I go on this show with the sub pixel boys, I legitimately want to ask you guys, because I think Warrior War games are fun, good fun. There's like the GameCube and Game yeah. Boy Advance are solid. And Warrior World is actually pretty good in its own way. They're kind of like, you know, like Metroidvania. Yeah. You get powers and stuff. They're solid. Like, yeah. would, would it beat Sora? I don't know. Sora might have higher highs, but like, I think Sora has lower lows than Warrior. You're talking about Sora from Kingdom Hearts with yeah. the feet? Yes. With the big feet. Wait, yeah. I'm sorry. You guys were... What was what was this? Was this like who's the cooler character who would win in a they fight? Picking, what was this they, were just, they were just picking categories like like it, who's the better mascot and or like whatnot human mascot. And I don't mind Wario Warrior. losing the sword at all. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that Wario should at least get some credit for his like to say that he has no good games or all of his games are trash. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Thank yeah, that you. Is I just wanted. Like, to, I just wanted to, even even the games that he's just in like Mario Kart etc. are fantastic. Super Smash Brothers. Games. But does yeah. he get credit? Does he get credit for that, or does he get credit for? Because like, I wouldn't give that to Wall. Wall Ouija doesn't have his own game to save his life. So like, I'm not even giving him any credit. He only he only appears in like just bonus games. I I think he gets enough credit that the statement Wario Wario games are trash is wrong. Okay, just flat out wrong. I, I just wanted to know if they're yeah. Wario War games. I think they're good fun. Like they they're, yeah, those, they're, those are good. Those are good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. But I, I also think honestly I. I thought with the controversy you were prepping, I thought you were going to come down on the other side and I was going to have to reach through this and smack the chocolate milk out of you. Oh, OK, great. Wario's no, great. I, Honestly, no. Wario is like the best Nintendo character. I'm just I just thought that this. Yeah, I, I anytime Wario shows up in a lot of games, too, I, I, I appreciate his character. Like in the soccer game, in Strikers, he's great. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I, I was just shocked to see that there was so much warrior hate. And one that I agreed with Zach on anything, like I said, usually me and him. Uh, <laughs> it's like a lunar eclipse. Sometimes it's like, oh wow, yeah. like they aligned. It's great. Like, oh wow. No, we're Wario hey, lovers you, over here. Could you imagine yeah. if Wario oh is in the next Pirates of the Caribbean? Zach would lose his mind. Absolutely lose his mind. I got a picture. I got a frame picture of Waluigi right there. I need to get my Wario up. Okay. Um, I was also going to say Wario, the inventor of the micro game. I think in and of itself, yeah, is an incredible accomplishment. What yeah. did Mario invent? Mini games? Dumb. Micro games. I, I just. I, I I just think that, like I said, for the GBA games, you could probably put a Warrior War game. The GameCube game is actually really good, but it has too yeah. much competition to say it's like a top fifteen, top ten. Even that 3DS game was was good. I thought I, I like that one. Fine, but the new okay. one on Switch is. I mean, it's not an amazing piece of video game yeah. history or whatever. But it's a good but it's Warrior good. War game. Yeah. Like we played a good eight I, hours of it. If if you play like a Metroid or like a Kirby game or like one of the Yoshi side scroll games, Yoshi Island or whatever, and you don't like the Wario games, I just think you're wrong. Like you can't uh, yeah. like those are pretty all comparable for what they do. You just hate a fat guy who's Italian with purple overalls. I would I say per percentage wise, Wario has more good games than Mario. Uh that's it. That'd be a good fun like achievement to do. Like who, who we, we need a spreadsheet for that. Yeah, correct. Yeah. You need you a spreadsheet. Get that going? Some would say a mega tier list for a fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would have to rate them there. Yeah. But that was sorry. I just wanted to throw that on you guys. I'm glad to see we're on the same side of the warrior, the warrior war or war. Yeah, hundred percent warrior yeah. War. brothers yeah. and warrior.
Brothers yeah. of War. Yeah. Okay. So that that that's that was what I wanted to bring up. So thank you for letting me uh, talk about that for a little. I'm bit. just crushed. There's no video game called Bonus Mystery Topic because. Oh, really? Yeah, fun. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I thought it was like a My hot bad. topic manager. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it was. It was. It was spreading the love of Wario. My bad. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, spreading more love. I've been playing Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I am. I don't even know how far I. I'm. You ever hate play a game because that's what is, I'm doing. Is this, is this the, your first time playing it? Yes. Ish. I okay, played like right. two I hours know. two years okay. ago. <laughs> yeah. What don't you like about it specifically? It's maybe just... maybe I shouldn't ask that, but this is the, an hour show. The, yes. <laughs> um. The. I'll. I could talk about the things I do like about it. I think the okay, music's great. Um. Yeah, music's great. I think there is an established obviously motifs in star wars and i think some games miss the mark on that and this game absolutely smacks it out of the park it is so good at the little like like when you're yeah, like walking beat. through a place and, like the boom 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 like it's it's nailed that 100 percent um yep. i think uh i think that's probably about it um Nothing. I think I think some of the cinematics, especially some of the cutscenes, especially towards the beginning, were really cool and some really yes. cool environments. Also, yeah, the, the environment photo mode, say, like train ride, was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, climbing the one walker was cool. Um, so it has yeah. like cinematic moments for sure. The photo mode is also incredible because you can just go anywhere. It's not like the photo mode where it's like, oh, you can do a little bit away from the character. Like you can just yeah. go through walls. You can go through the ship. Um, you can do this camera mode in a cutscene in the spaceship and just fly outside the ship in the hyper tunnel. It's, it's crazy. Nice. Um, but yeah, just the like, it feels like they took a bunch of notes from Dark Souls and Uncharted. And yeah. instead of making a really good game, they made... <laughs> they made... They took two arguably really good games and put them together and it made a one mediocre video game um yeah i think i i think when i was playing it it was very jarring when you would have some of those cutscenes slash cinematic gameplay moments with quick time events and you're like oh this is an uncharted game like i don't have to take it super seriously because it's guiding me through the cinematic action and then it dumps you back into combat and all of a sudden it has some difficulty it has some heft to it it's not just a flat action game it has some kind of like dark souls like pace yourself be careful and it's like the 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 distinction between those two is so jarring and it just didn't never quite meshed for me yeah and the the um you don't appreciate how uh, like uncharted 4 say what you will about the game the gameplay whatever you don't appreciate how incredible those animation transitions are until you yeah. play a game that doesn't have them it's like i'll just jump against a wall and he just snaps to the wall run or snaps to grab yeah. the thing it's just a lot of those little things that pile up and it's and again it's not a bad game it's just so mediocre and I think the Star Wars name is the only thing that has kept it going in any sort of talks yeah. about that stuff. Even the Dark Souls element of sitting to rest at the thing. Like, I hit fire, X to rest. Really not the fire. Yeah, the meditation things. And you're like, yeah. you, first you have to sit to meditate. Then it, like, loads up the whole screen. You hit X to rest. And it just hits, you just hit X. And it just says, you have rested. And then you have to then hit B to go back. Then you can look at your other stuff. Um, most of the upgrades I don't think are that fun. Uh, and then you no, get out no. of the rest and like enemies will respawn, Dark Souls, blah, blah, blah. But it's not like any coherent way of like, do I don't know. It's just, it's just so Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really fit the story that you meditated and the enemies are back. Yeah. It's, it's they're and doing I, way too much with this. And I think, I think each individual moment is okay or each individual mechanical element is okay. But when you put them all together, it brings it all down a little bit for me. Yeah. Um, the combat I don't like at all. Um, also switching to having a double bladed lightsaber is weird when all the animations are still for a single bladed lightsaber. So when you finish building the lightsaber, he shoots it out and the back half of it just goes through his foot and he's just holding it and it's just cutting his foot off. Sorry. I'm just like, I'm just remembering this game and I feel like I played like six or seven hours of this game. Why did I? I think I made it all it's, the way to. Isn't there? Isn't there a water planet? 
I, I thought there know. was, but maybe I'm mixing it up. Are you that far? Well, there's like there's like a like a swamp and you're having to. I played a lot of this game and I didn't like it after well, that. What? Not to like interrupt, but like what quantifies as playing for like a triple A title for you to to get it like? Is it enough for like is six hours? Like I'm not trying to discredit you. Oh, hundred percent. I think Look, it for is. me. Yeah. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Fifteen. I mean, you could no, be throwing a tutorial though. It depends on the game. God damn it, is. There's, there are I some games that are fundamentally game, wrong. But I think six <laughs> hours on average. That's that's more than enough. I feel like I feel like honest take two hours minimum because at two hours you're either out of the tutorial and you and you're starting to get some of the core mechanics of the game or you're still in the tutorial. In which case, if they haven't hooked you in a tutorial and the tutorial's that long. It's not and, and, and that's like a not multiplayer game too. Like oh, you yeah. get the that's, that's the true. Multiplayer is longer. Quick, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I also think that's not to say that a game can't hook you after those six hours, but mm. it just doesn't put it into the category oh. that it could have if you had. Done it's it. like a TV show. They're like, hey, watch the first season. Oh, this first season's rough. You got to make it through the first. Right, season exactly. The like I was like, no, and like just like, fucking, like I'm not doing that. Yeah. It's like, like until I get the recommendation you... that ten hours, I should go back and play this yeah. game. If they're like it's really yeah. worth it then i will do that but if they don't grab me in those it's, first six i i have made a good faith effort to enjoy this video game and if you can't respect those first hours yeah. of the player's time then fuck off. i mean factorial gets to it let's just be perfect god clear. does it get to it that crafting system i can't stop thinking about it it's the best and nobody's even come close to it it's incredible yeah and it's so simple um anyways so yeah combat i really don't like the parrying is just seems off I, I don't know i feel like i'm never doing damage and i have a lightsaber like i want yeah. it to feel like force unleashed like i i don't or even elder elden ring i like i feel like i'm not doing it. i feel like i'm force using a yeah. sword against people with not like the way like i should just yeah. be cleaving through things um and then the final thing i don't like is the map layouts are awful and there's no fast travel and it's just all these planets have slides that you slide down yes, and jump yes. and nothing makes sense they're like they're like slightly back on each other so you can be like oh i'm back at this area okay like they they they're trying to do the dark souls loop nested map design but it's yeah. Shit's and at some point they're like now you can swim underwater so you swim underwater and there's a bunch of boxes underwater so you can open those boxes underwater that give you fuck all because it's just skins and cosmetics and the boxes yeah. act like you're on on the ground like bd doesn't swim into them but they shake around like bd's in there and then muffled you hear what are you find like it, and it's just playing the voice yeah. line while your character has a thing in his mouth it's just like what is happening? Um, I don't know. I feel like that game was rushed to get out. And I don't mean that if it was, but just that's the way it feels like they were like, oh, we got to get this out. Oh, there's no time to polish. And it's, it's, it's two years, three years later, 2019. And, and that Xbox Series X version of it still has a performance or quality mode that yeah. just doesn't look good and runs in 60 frames or looks good and runs in about 10 frames. Um, I, sorry, I, I think maybe I haven't, I think I'm confusing this game with something else. Maybe all I played was two Kashyyyk and that was it. <laughs> that's how, that's how you might be like, thinking just of Force Unleashed. interested in this. No, I've never played that. Oh, Force Unleashed so, one. So there's, Great. There's just something so disinteresting about this game that I am now confusing it with something yeah. else. I was on a Star Wars high uh, brought on by Rogue that, One. That'd be a first. I was going to say, that's I, a first. oh, you watched Rogue One. I was like, what did you watch recently yeah. that would give you a Star Wars high? I need to rewatch okay. Rogue One, yeah. It's so Rogue good. Rogue One's good. It's so Rogue good. good. I, 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 We talked about this before, but I didn't like it when it came out, and I think it's because when I saw it in theaters, I had one of those moments, and I'm sure you guys can relate to this, where you are watching a movie but for some reason, you can't get into the movie watching mood. So you're just there while it's happening and you never really get into the movie. But it's not really the movie's fault. You're just like, that's movie happening. I'm... And and then and so I never really went back to it. But then watching Narcos, which has Diego Luna Ugh. in it. Oh, OK. Oh, fantastic Luna. show. And he's incredible in it. He's... So now I really want to go back and watch there... it. Yeah, I, I don't. There is something so incredibly attractive about the way that man talks 
and I can't. Si, senor. It's so good. <laughs> Just like the uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, no, I was gonna say uh, crap. What was I gonna say? Oh, I don't know. with the focus on a movie, like it's where like I compare it to like you put the blinders on and you're like sucked into the movie. Yeah, like yeah. I, when you can tell that happens, like when you're reading a really good book and you're not aware of what's going on around you. Cause you're like in it Yeah. versus when you're just reading a book and you're not really falling into it. Um, yeah. You're just kind of going over the words. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. So anyways, um, Rogue I'm, One. I'm ready to rewatch it. I'm ready to rewatch it. Um, this next thing I was going to mention here is just quick. I, I didn't mean to spend so long on, Jedi Fallen okay, Order, yeah. uh, Netflix show called Old Enough. It's a Japanese show. Japanese show has been on from what research I can find the since fuck? the nineties. Same video games. Um, I know, but video I wanted games. to talk about it because it's exciting. Uh, anyway, because everybody's been talking about it for weeks. Hey, I talked about the NBA a little bit ago. So hey, yeah, um, but you're the guest. Yeah, and we like hockey. And that's at least a game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyways, it's they film kids going on their very first errand. It's super adorable. They have this incredible song called "Baby" oh, on this it. Oh, this show. That I is. Why show. are we talking about this? Because I'm talking about it. It's my podcast. Um. Can I talk? Can I talk about Narcos? Somewhere? No. <laughs> yeah, you, Mr. Stargate. Um, I miss it. I miss it so much. It's so good. But they have the song Anyways. "Baby" that is uh, the guy says the word "baby" in it, but the whole song is sung in a cadence of an American song, but it's in Japanese, and it's so confusing trying to listen to it because oh. you're like, "Oh, I understand it," and you're like, "No, none of these words Simple are American." Um, Got simple it. and clean yeah totally that's uh, like oh you know what i had the exact same moment when i was listening you? to my car came with like like a couple of free months of sirius xm so i listened to caliente which is just like the latina music sta station and there was a song that was playing and it was just um wasn't me by shaggy but it wasn't that song and it was <laughs> well, different mean. words in Spanish. And I was just like, and it was like, like third, like 70% of the song was, wasn't me, but the words were not matching. And then the, the chorus was slightly different. And I was like, what, what, what is happening? It was very weird. That's wild. Um, Ian, what have you been playing? Well, I've been playing, I'll jump ahead a little bit to the news section. There's a news story that encouraged me to play a game this week because I was looking for something to play. Uh, Bohemia Interactive, uh, longstanding developers of the Operation Flashpoint and Arma series, as well as other games like Take on Mars and Take on Helicopter, Helicopters, um, <laughs> finally announced that Arma 4 is in development uh arma 3 is long in the tooth i want to say since like 2010 or 2012 mm -hmm. uh will zach and i have played it before had some fun in it but uh it has a lot of mods but it's also not well optimized and it's definitely feeling a little bit old so they finally announced that they are working on arma 4 but they're kind of doing something interesting we talked about it previously which is the arma games when the arma game is in its prime it's about 20 percent the original game in terms of the original engine and content and the, the system around that. And 80% of the game is really all the mods, all the custom wow. maps, custom wow. factions, custom weapons. It's like, like, like the core Arma three experience is not that good, but what you do is you load it up and then you immediately go to steam workshop and you load a Vietnam wow. mod, you load like a star Wars mod, you, you load a, a 40 K mod. You even mo load, just be like, I want, you know, 1980s, uh, Afghan Taliban versus the Soviets. And you've got maps and missions at the wazoo for that. And that's what makes the game. And so launching Arma 4 is very hard because the studio itself, quite frankly, doesn't make great content. They make a great game, but not great content for that game. So what they've done instead is they've decided to launch today. Well, not today, but the day they announced it on Tuesday, a game called Arma Reforger, which is basically a bare bones I wouldn't say bare bones, but it is a very content limited version of the Arma 4 engine, but it has all the the bones there. So you can hop in 
and you can load mods into it and you can play some basic games. Um, you can play like the game master mode, which is basically where one person is controlling the game and dropping units in. Um, and then the players are playing in that mode and fighting against the AI. Um, it just has one map. It's just uh, somewhat limited. It only has a handful of vehicles and like basic infantry for Soviets and the US. It takes place in like Cold War gone hot in the 80s, kind of like the original Operation Flashpoint um, in like an Eastern European map. Um, so it's a very, it's a very like, I don't want to say vertical slice. Like there's still a lot there. And along with it, they released literally the tools they are using to build the game. Like I loaded it up and the, and it pops open and it's just like, Yo, what do you want to edit? You want to edit animations? You want to edit sound effects? You want to edit particle <laughs> effects? You want to edit terrain? And like I clicked into one of the buttons and I I've played around with game engines before and I've, I've uh, you know, working at ZeniMax Online, like I've played with that studio's game engine and this looks like that. Like I don't think they're lying when they're saying, hey, these are the exact tools we are using to build the game itself and all the content in it and we are basically releasing that and this brand new engine for Arma 4 early so that the mod community can get a head start and the players can, I don't want to say play test, but they can, they can start providing feedback on Arma 4 while they continue to make Arma 4. And it's such a smart idea because instead of having, when Arma 3 launched, it was a very bare bones game for a year or two until there was enough third party content and enough bug fixes for it to feel like it was worth it. And they're getting ahead of that. Before they've even launched Arma 4, they're going to have a huge mod community and a lot of feedback and all this stuff that they can just drop in Arma 4 day one. Um, so anyways, there is a downside to this. And I'll talk about playing the game in a little bit. This is the downside. Arma Reforger, I, I was mistaken when I read the, uh, uh, the first press releases when it was announced. I thought it was going to be free to play. I thought they were releasing a free to play, like bare bones version of like, this is the engine and some basic assets and it has multiplayer. Go have fun and build mods for it. It's not. It's $30. It's it's Ooh. it's too expensive. Honestly, it's way too expensive. They they can get away with it because they have a very dedicated fan base. Like if you if you are an Arma player, it's almost like, you know, how those people who only play Madden or only play NBA 2K and that's yeah. all they do all year long and they yes. buy the new one. If you're an Arma player, that's pretty much you. Like that game is very unique and it's very specific. So there are plenty of people that all they do is play Arma. They have communities. They play Arma all the time. They just don't really play anything else because nothing else scratches that itch. So there's there's plenty of people buying that game. I mean, I bought it. I was playing a multiplayer match earlier today and I was playing it. And um, there's there's full servers. There's like 64 player servers full of people. The game's still buggy. It's early, but and there's like barely any game modes, but they're dicking around in there. You know, like they can do it, but man, 30 bucks. It's a lot for what this is. I, I don't know. What, what do you guys, what do you guys feelings on that? Uh, it reminds me of XCOM in terms of the way, not the gameplay, obviously, but more the XCOM lies a lot, but makes it so good besides just its core gameplay loop is very mm -hmm. good. The community is very up in arms about creating their mod friendly and mm -hmm. they let the, the, let the game be modded like the, fire fire access lets the game be modded and like is okay with hey like creative license on our game so it seems very close to that that like the community has to go a long way to make this game better than it actually is using its systems so i think that's an interesting approach uh if the core gameplay loop is good then like i said that's fine but like you said if it's that expensive and you're relying on mods that may or may not be you know you said the developer isn't you know the best at doing them themselves so yeah it's, it's just an interesting approach. Like I said, I thought XCOM might have been one of the most modded games, but this sounds like this one's even more reliant on it than even that. So. Yeah, this one yeah. definitely relies on it a lot. Um, um, I think this makes sense. Uh, I, I wonder, although part of me wonders why wouldn't they advertise this, but I wonder when Arma 4 comes out if uh, you get it for half price if you own Reforger. Um, that would be 30 nice. bucks off. I could see that, but I could also see it being long enough that they're trying to get people to double dip um, or people who did do that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, I think for right now, if you wanted to get into this to play, I think it's a little steep. But if you wanted to get into this to get a head start on your Arma 4 campaign, I think $30 is nothing for that. Yeah. And, and it, it, it's. 
I think Arma 4 is a ways away. I would say it's probably at least a year and a half, if not more, away. Um, which is okay. Like, this is a nice tease for them. And the other thing is that this game's only been out for two days now. So they, they're, they're, the mod community is going crazy. Like, there's already mods for it and stuff. They're very limited. But, like, this game is going to be built out a lot. So eventually that $30 is going to 100% make sense. I'm just surprised yeah. they dropped it at that that price point. It almost feels like if you remember Total Annihilation in the uh, the early days of like uh, Steam Greenlight and uh, Early Access when they did the opposite of everybody else and they said, hey, if you want Early Access, it's $100. And then if you want the beta release, it's $50. And then eventually we'll get down to $30 for the real price of the game. And that's kind of what this feels like in a way is they know they can get away with 30 bucks. Yeah. But anyways, that's the news side. Let's talk about what the game's like. Um, What's it like, Ian? What's so, like? Will, I know, I know you're familiar with Arma. Uh, Jason, I'm assuming you've had no experience with the Arma. Zero, but I play Medal of Honor, so that's not the same thing at all. But I just wanted to throw that out there. So it's it's not <laughs> because Arma, <laughs> Arma is very like military. It's like a milsim, like realistic, like, Bo- like Bohemian Interactive, literally on the side, sells a version of Arma to the military as a sim. For them to use okay. for training but at the same time it arma has historically controlled like dog shit and had a user experience that feels like you're being stabbed with a poop knife like it's just bad like like they um i'm trying to remember this and will you may have to help me like like if you go up to a vehicle and you want to get in the vehicle you had to like click the middle mouse button to pop like a context menu and then you scroll through the context menu to be like get in open door like get in back open inventory and it it, it was crap yeah. and then the other thing was that it, they had like a deliberate sway which i'm fine with in first person games but it felt like every time every movement was like like you're just jerking <laughs> around a lot like it was a lot of like you're you're limboing your body around instead of moving smoothly and the enemy ai sucked um arma 3 in particular ran like trash like it just was very hard for it to run right and to get a solid frame rate um so they have a lot of like tech debt and a lot of like bad design decisions like that middle mouse button i'm talking about that menu has been in there since Operation Flashpoint. So it was one of their sticking points where they were just like, no, this is how it is in this game. We're never going to change it. Folks, they fucking changed it. You walk <gasps> up to a vehicle now it comes <laughs> up and it says get in vehicle and there's an F button next to it. You hit F and boom, baby, you're in the fucking vehicle. F- and then yeah. and then they still have, they have a little bit of scroll. Like, for example, I was looking at a, 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 like an arsenal pile, like a pile of equipment, and I looked at it, and they pressed F to open, but then it has little arrows on it. So if you look at it and you scroll down, then it gives you another option. So you still have that scroll menu, which is great. It means that like you can look at it and scroll through it to do what to choose what F does. But by default, it's what you want to do. And like you're in a vehicle, and instead of in, – like there's a lots of little things, but they, they make a big impact. Like before, if you pressed F to get – if you pressed – middle mouse button, et cetera, to get into a vehicle. It would just like go to a black screen and then come back up and you're in the vehicle. Now it's full animation. So you see you like, oh. open the door and hop in the vehicle. And then the other thing is there's um, there's free look switching in the vehicles. So like you're in the driver's seat and you look to the right and you press the F button and you hop over to the passenger seat or you like get up into the turret or your um, the vehicles. Now you have to start them. So which which means you just hold down W and then it like goes through like a grr, 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 and then goes or you can look down and like press F to turn the engine on, press F to turn the lights on like it, all these little things that bring you more into the world. They completely redid the animation system. So now it feels very good. It feels much closer to something like squad or hell let loose like it's still a realistic shooter, but it doesn't feel like like you're you're a piece of taffy yeah. being pulled around the screen. Um and it just like it looks fantastic. The lighting system is really good where I was seeing some examples and I had some examples just playing around with the game where like if you have like a machine gun nest that you're building, if you build it in shadow. People can't see it because it's in shadow. So you'll be like looking at a forest and you're in a bright field and you don't notice there's a machine gun nest there because it's it's just inside the forest inside the shadow. That's and it's awesome. fantastic. So it's just like all these like quality of life fixes that they've done to make the game feel and run better. And it's it looks so much better, but it runs better than Arma 3. And it's just like 
all these little tiny things just feel fantastic. Um, like I'll give one more example. The scroll wheel, when you're moving, you can move the scroll wheel up and down to change your speed. So if you go all the way up, you're almost sprinting. If you go all the way down, then you're like slow walking. So imagine you're like, you're all the way up, you're walking to somebody. And then all of a sudden you put the gun up, you scroll wheel down. So you go slow and you're like, you know, you're, you you got sights on them. And then if you hold control and you do the scroll wheel, it, it does dynamic um, crouching from standing down to crouch. So you hold control and you do the scroll wheel and you go. So you can like dial in yourself just perfectly to like peek over that rock and shoot and then peek back down. And it's so good. It's all these little things. So it's a lot of fun. I can't wait for the mods to come out. Um, I do need to say one thing, though. We talked about this before the stream. This game has voice chat like the other ones. It's yes. pretty multiplayer heavy right now. Yes. There's a lot of racism and profanity. No, that's not good. Guys. Okay, look, I hear you, but I need to say something. Uh -oh. I had like flash I had like flashbacks because the Modern Warfare 2 days. No, even oh, older okay. than that. Yeah. I Pong. I was playing on a server <laughs> And it was it was Game Master, which means somebody is like being, playing like the Game Master. They're setting stuff up. They're playing God. They're playing down units and they needed like 10 minutes to set up stuff. So the rest of us, there's like 30 of us. We're just like messing around in this open field, like shooting our guns and like talking over Mike. And one of the funny things is that in this game now you can take your clothes off. Like if you go to inventory, you can just be like, take pants off, take shirt off. So you're just nice. like you're in your underwear, combat vest, <laughs> helmet and your gun. You're just like, eh. and so all these guys are saying like, they're just like shooting the shit and somebody's like, y'all look like a bunch of queers. And somebody else is like, Hey, this game, it's the 1980s in the U S military. We're all probably a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> like all this, like this, like really rough crass razzing. And some of it was over the line, of course, but honestly, I, I grew up in a military family, you know, like, uh, both my parents were in the Marines. My sister is a chief petty officer in the Navy. Every time I grow a mustache, she says nice dick duster because that's what it's called in the military. <laughs> because when you you know, mustache, it brushes the dick while you're giving a oh, We job. get it, Ian. Thank you. So it's like, like it took me back where I'm like, look, this is real crass and there's a bunch of people shit talking online. But honestly, it's kind of realistic to the military and that's not the game doing it. It's just weird that the community kind of fell into that. And then, and then, and then all of a sudden the combat starts and we're all like, Oh shit. You know, and we're just like buttoned down. So it's, it's very weird how it's a milsim, not just in the pure mechanics, but also somehow the in the player base as well. And that's, that's hilarious. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to have fun with it. <sighs> so stupid i hate it so much um i'm happy i'm excited for the adventures of uh of us when we play some more uh brothers in arma <clears throat> and can play through those missions um arma 4 i'm excited for reforger sounds like a good base step uh to get yeah. us there it's a, it's a bright future yeah, yeah totally it's the right call for that community um i think that's everything we've been playing which means we've got to move over to the news which means I gotta hit the news button and the news team's gonna play. Here it goes. Here's the news, we're talking about news. It's gaming news. What's up, news? I know you can't hear it. I don't know why you can't hear it because I've clicked Where's the, the new setting one? button. What? Where's the new one? Oh, it didn't record, like, super well. Just call up Zach. Have him re-record it. No, because yeah. he's a pain. He loves doing stuff, yeah. Yeah, just have him re-record it. I don't know why. i got to check my settings. I don't know why you guys can't hear it. It's upsetting me. Is it voice meter? I think it is voice meter, because it's not showing up in voice meter, so I think something's probably wrong. <clears throat> it's probably anyways, me. Anyways. Anyways, folks, we're going to figure that out right now and spend the rest of the episode doing that. Uh, no, we're going to talk about the news. Um... Not a ton of news this week. Uh, there's a good little bit here. Might have to dip into the that. emails a little bit. I, I noticed think. that. Uh, but uh, let's start off here with the big one. Uh, the episode title, uh, as what have I done here? As we like to call it. Uh, Konami's Silent Hill plans has seemingly leaked onto the internet. Uh, this coming from several people on Twitter. 
who are known for Silent Hill opinion and whatnot, and also mm-hmm. some Jeffrey Grubb in the Grub Snacks uh, universe came out here today. Um, Silent Hill, what's everyone's history with Silent Hill here? Can I, can I, look, I don't mean to rush it, but we're a little behind time. Any, you guys give any shit about Silent Hill? <laughs> Nah, I can't say I'm too too familiar with the, the series. <laughs> and I will have you I don't know. Even care either. I will have you know that I haven't played a single oh. fucking Silent Hill game. <laughs> I, I, I have I, not. No. I love this because like I I kind of knew about the Silent Hill fan base, but listen to um, Jess on Giant Bomb talk about it all the time. Now, basically, that is just a tortured community that had some a couple of very good games a long time ago. They've had a lot of teases. The strongest one yet was PT, which was fantastic and was actually released as a demo and then yanked out of existence. And so for them to now have to go through more rumors with a studio that is not well loved by the horror community in Bloober team is just like, I'm on the outside laughing. This is too funny. I think the one game that's in like arcades, the shooting arcade thing games, gets more love than Silent Hill. <laughs> Whatever that game is, I don't even remember the name of it. Time Crisis. Yeah, Time Crisis. <laughs> love yeah. Time Crisis. House um, of the Dead. Is it the one? Yes, yeah. that one. Those two. Yeah. 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 That's um, crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say the closest <laughs> we've gotten to playing Silent Hill is Silent Hill Four has been on the list for spooky games for a while. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize they got up to four. Because four, like everyone uh says it's not a great Silent Hill game, but it's a good game because it's you it, like it all takes place in like a room, I think, and you're like trying to get out of the room. And I think that's really neat. Oh. Um I, I've been thinking because for a while it was the original idea of like we play that for six or four weeks in October. Maybe we'll do that this year. But um, yeah, I, I have somewhat no, interest that, um, in playing the the first two. But yeah, but uh, don't worry, we're gonna play that Five Nights at Freddy's first person game oh, this October. Oh, absolutely yeah, yeah. That looks not! Terrifying. That looks terrifying. Oh. Um, also, you won't be anywhere near it, Mister Chicken. Yeah, I. I had a like a mental health moment where I was like, this is not good for me playing these games that give me anxiety attacks all the time. It's not worth the two viewers we get. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Um, moving on. Uh, Ian's approach. Does anyone give a fuck about Steam World? Uh, I played. Yes. I, I, I did I know, play. The yes. I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, I, I care about more about this. I, I did play Steam World Heist and I know of the other one at the, the dig one. So I'm glad yeah. they are continuing that universe. It's Steam World Heist is a good game, actually. Yeah, and so. Ste- Steam World Dig. I only played Steam World Dig two, but it's fantastic. It was like yeah. a little what seven eight hour game, and it's just like, hey, we know exactly what this game is, and we're gonna build the best effing mechanics in this game, and you're gonna love it. This is gonna be a game ass game, and we're gonna do it perfect. And they nailed it. And I feel like that's what they're doing. They had, you know, you mentioned they had Heist, they had Quest, which was the yes. card one. They they did a little bit of uh, the gunk, which was their first like fully 3D game. Um, so they've been going around a little bit, but um, I'll open this up. There are four SteamWorld games in development. One is a city builder. Uh, there's a turn-based tactical shooter, a puzzle game, and then there's the third-person action game SteamWorld Headhunter. Um, I mean, heck yeah. I, I'm not crazy about turn-based tactical shooters, so I'll probably skip that one. But yeah, sure. City building, puzzle, third-person action game. Heck yeah. I know these guys make fantastic games. They're really well designed. And so, yeah, I'm excited for this. Uh, yep. Was Super Heist excited. the tactical one? Correct. Yeah, yeah that okay. was the side. Karen played the game. crap out of that one Yeah. when, uh, when that first came out. Um, I'm also very excited for more of that. I'm excited for a 3D action game because um the gunk i i genuinely enjoyed it was a great uh we listened back to that episode i think i described it as a great like proof of concept from them of like hey yes we can we made a short 3d platformer we can or a 3d game we can make a long 3d game um also at the end here i did not realize that they had acquired the islanders ip the islanders being that city builder game that jake loves so much Oh, I didn't um, know that. And so I wonder huh. if some of those people are, uh, if that city builder is a Islanders 2 
sort of mechanically similar yeah thing there. that could be Maybe. cool That'd i own cool, islanders yeah. have not started playing it yet but i i'm saving it for one of those nights it's where chill. I'm like, i need a chill chill sort of thing it's, um it's chill. very exciting steam world i like i like their um oeuvre i like their their style of like, hey, yeah. you got an idea, let's just kind of slap our sort of name on it and let's just put it out there. Like they don't seem yeah. and, and they're not hey. they're not doing anything crazy, which is fine because they're like, hey, look, these are the mechanics of this genre, and we're going to embrace those mechanics. Yeah. And we're gonna add different variations of it. And we're gonna do like the perfect of like, how do you introduce this mechanic to the player? How do you iterate on it? How do you challenge them with it and then move forward with it? And they're just perfect at rolling out the game like that. So I don't need totally. them to do something crazy new. I just want them to make more games. Yes, that's what I need. Yeah. I just need more of the IP being made. That's, yeah, that's I think I they make yeah. everything better. Like I like they're one of the few studios I could say could make a better Factorio. They would find something. They'd find yeah, something they to would. add to it that would make it incredible. Yeah, hundred uh, yeah. percent. Uh, next up here, um, I don't know. Anyone care about Arma Bohemia? No, I'm kidding. I already talked about that. Arma 4. Yeah. Hey, I, I forgot out. to mention. Ugh. Matches are slow, so I started playing a match at like 8.15 p.m. And stuff got hot about five minutes before the podcast started. And there was a moment where I had to myself where I was like, should I bail on the podcast? <laughs> I, like I have my jerk. I like shit talked with these bros for 20 minutes. I feel like I need to like like Stay. defend them now. Yeah. And like like the kill the cowards Soviets with them. Um, I you know I had yeah. that thought the other day where Karen was making dinner and I wanted to play Hell Let Loose. I said oh, it's about an hour till dinner. Probably shouldn't start a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that game takes yep. forever. Um, uh, moving on. Uh, Ian, you want to tackle this one about? Uh, they mentioned some of the PS Plus game lineups. Yeah. So PlayStation previously talked about how they are uh, reworking PlayStation Plus to basically turn it into their version of Game Pass and add a lot more games. Um, so they announced some more games that will be coming to the PlayStation Plus service, um, in particular PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium plans. Um, these will be launching, I believe, in some of the regions as soon as March. I believe it's June 13th in the U.S. Don't quote me on that. But um, we've got some stu uh, some games here. I'll just kind of shout them out. We've got Days Gone, Demon Souls, Everybody's Golf, God of War, Gravity Rush 1 and 2, Horizon Zero Dawn, Infamous 1 and 2, Knack, uh, both as Marvels of Spider's Mans, uh, Patapon 1 and 2, Last Guardian, Last of Us, Last of Us Left Behind, Until Dawn. We've got some third-party games. we got uh batman arkham knight celeste city skyline uh soul caliber artful escape hey. but red dead redemption 2 there is um something in here though which was kind of a paired announcement which is ubisoft has their own subscription service called ubisoft plus i believe and um they're bringing that to playstation they didn't put a date on it They've already made that previous announcement for saying, hey, we're bringing this to Xbox eventually. It's kind of a weird announcement because they they announced that months ago for Xbox and it still hasn't come out. It's yeah. it's kind of like it's I'm trying to think of an example. It's like if Netflix was like, hey, we're coming to switch eventually. And then <laughs> and then it's like months at a minimum, you know, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird announcement. But Ubisoft it, plus it's already on the PC. It's It's kind of nice. It's. If you want, if you play a lot of Ubisoft games, you pay like 10, 10 bucks a month, I think, and, and you get access to those games. Um, but they are adding some games to PlayStation uh, Plus uh, as part of what I believe they're calling it Ubisoft Ubisoft Plus Classics or Ubisoft Classics. I can't remember. Also, it's it's Ubisoft. Anyways, I'm messing up all over the place. But some of those games include Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry 3, 4, For Honor, and Far The Cry Crew 3. 2, hey. South Park. Sure. For honor, baby. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's actually, I feel like most of this stuff was kind of a given, all these PlayStation and some minor third parties, but I feel like Ubisoft announcing some of this stuff for uh, uh, PlayStation Plus is actually pretty nice because a lot of the stuff is not on Game Pass. So I feel like this is the first time that PlayStation has come forward and basically had something worthwhile um, before we go into the classic games catalog what, what's your guys take on ubisoft and some of these uh ps4 P ps5 games coming to to plus you start well um i'm excited there's a couple games here on these lists that i would like to check out um this horizon zero no uh 
<laughs> the one thing I did think was weird is the Marvel Spider-Man is the only one that doesn't also have the PS5 version. I wonder if that's a typo. So technically is oh, a PS5 right. version of it. Um, but everything yeah, else is pretty weird. much has the PS5 version. Um, I'm excited. I, I haven't played Returnal. I haven't played the the remast the remade Shadows of of Colossuses. Um, Knack, obviously, I really want to get into the infamous games I've never touched. Um, I like that it comes with Ghost of Tsushima director's cut. Uh, because I haven't touched that. I haven't touched the Death Stranding director's cut, so I can check that out. Um, yep. a lot of good stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's here. a lot of. <laughs> Like, I, I feel like we talked about this when this was announced. Like, I haven't played a lot of PlayStation games, so this is an opportunity for me to play those without dropping 40 to 60 bucks on each of these. Yeah. That as was, far as third was, party... Was, uh, sorry, I was just... Shut up! Say, no, Jason's was, talking! Shut up! No, no, no. I was I literally had the jumping point off your thing. I was like, I, I, I haven't played a chunk of these games, and this is, like, your opportunity to play games without having to, you know, like... It's kind of like the Xbox uh, Pass or whatever. Like... Yeah. It's just a little bit different, you know. It's just ways you can just try to get in there without, you know, having to fully can, you know, break your wallet on most of these games. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, now that you mention it, I want to say a majority of these have never been part of any sort of subscription service because they're either PlayStation first party or they're kind of Ubisoft premier titles that they've kind of kept back and only had on something like Ubisoft Plus, which is pc only for right now so there's a lot of stuff being introduced to the game streaming world through this which is great uh we do need to talk about the classic games catalog though yeah this is the one i'm more uh, interested in yeah uh quote below is an early look at a selection of games that will be available and folks it's a very small selection i'll just highlight some stuff uh from playstation and psp we have uh ape escape iq hot shots golf worms world Party, Worms Armageddon, Ape Escape 2, Jack 2, Bioshock Remastered, uh, and then original PS3 games via streaming only. Honestly, uh, fuck that list. I don't care about streaming games. Uh, and then finally, the time-limited game trials. They're offering two, t t two and some games more than two-hour game free game trials like Horizon Forbidden West, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, Cyberpunk, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, WWE 2K 2022, and Farming Simulator 22. This is not the only list, but I feel like they're trying to knock it out of the park with this. And I don't know about you guys, but this classic list sucks. Uh, I like I like uh, Dark Souls, or not uh, Dark Cloud, not Dark Souls. Dark Jeez. Souls Dark is Clouds great. are really good. Oh, I've heard of that. I'll have no, to try no. that. Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud is like one of the my, my more original RPGs that I played. Definitely needed a a remaster in terms of some like you know buffs to like how it originally played but yeah, yeah that that one i like in the jack games i like but i'm really mad that they don't have sly or uh ratchet and clank and ratchet and clank yeah. games before whatever the, the playstation 3 or 4 era i don't know when the the last one is but they don't have like anything below deadlocked so three at three two and one are very good games yeah. by the way and it's it's maddening that they don't have uh going commando or uh the third one up your arsenal i think is three which is a really good game so that's that bothers me and like sly cooper not being there bothers me uh but they have the jack games so oh, i'm kind of mad i'm, I'm sorry classic. they do have three ratchet and clank games but not the old but they're, not the but they're streaming only about. they're yeah. streaming only so they're basically yeah. just Garbage. completely worthless yeah i, yeah, I was like, yeah like like totally I, i'm still upset about it but understanding the ps3 streaming only thing I would have expected the PS1, PS2, PSP stuff to be stronger, but it's just not, honestly. And yeah. I this was part of it was like I I had a PS4 and I have a PS5, never had a three, never had a two. I have a one now, but I bought that recently, like last year. So I was like, heck yeah, man, open up the PS1, PS2 game catalog and let me play some of those classics that i've never played i loved the playstation classic mini console because it was a lot of games on there i've never tried before or heard about like demolition derby and stuff and this list of 10 games is yeah you have you yeah. have one of the best console you have one of the best consoles not just of our, our, our generation playstation 2 is legitimately one of the best consoles made and <laughs> you have 12 games representing it. that is a fucking joke yeah. And you have the capabilities of doing more. So, yeah. I don't know. Seems like a Nintendo 100%. policy to me. So, yeah. Which is I, not, a, I'm, not, not a compliment. 
I mean, they're still saying it's an early look, but it's like if you're not coming out with your bangers in an early look, yeah, like you're not going to show those off second fiddle. Yeah. Um, I they did come out. Ben Studio did tweet for Siphon Filter that there are trophies being added, which is a boon for some people. Um, I thought it was trophies and like boosts, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, most of these like first party games, I'm excited to finally check out. Uh. I was really excited to finally play Sly Cooper games, but those are nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to yeah. be seen. Um, uh, like unlike Ian, I I have a lot of these consoles. I have a lot of these games, but I have nothing to like. I don't want to also sit there and plug them into the TV, try to make sure they work on an eight like a four K TV, make sure they look good. Like if I can just download them yeah. on my on my PS Five, I'll be happy. Um, yeah, there's some thirty part third party stuff that I just. I haven't bought, so I'm like kind of excited about Kingdom of Amalar re reckoning. Um, but yeah, as far as the streaming stuff, it's nothing crazy. I, I noticed that the Cyberpunk 2077 version is the PS5 version game trial. Um, well, I, which is interesting. I, I, well, well, did is the PS4 did that ever come back on sale? The PS4 version, I Cyberpunk believe so, 2077 yeah. on Sony. It probably still runs like trash, though. But probably that um, game sucks. I, I, it's 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 hard for me to swallow this because this service is more expensive than Game Pass, especially that higher tier, which gets you access to all these games. It's more expensive, and this is not just Sony coming and fighting back at Game Pass. This is also them trying to open up backwards compatibility in a way. Yeah, and this is this is just a pitiful offering. And I, I know this is not the full list. That's what they're saying. But folks, it certainly feels like it is these games plus the PlayStation Now current catalog, which I don't know if you've looked at the PlayStation Now current catalog, but it's not that good. It's not that good. And so, I mean, I'm glad I got it on a discount like a couple months ago. What is, did we buy a year of it? We bought a year of it six did. months of it or something? I can't remember what I can't remember what we paid, but it was before Sony realized it was basically what happened was PlayStation now exists, but it's dying when they turn this PlayStation plus premium on. But if you were already a PlayStation now subscriber, then you got grandfathered in when the switch happens. And so a couple days after they announced, they had some deal where it was like a year of PlayStation now for dirt cheap. And if you bought it and activated it, <laughs> then it meant that you got PlayStation Plus Premium for a year at a supreme discount. So so I know Will wow. and I did that. So we have the service now for cheap, but it's still Dirt disappointing. Cheap. Yeah. Dirt cheap. Um yeah, it's it'll be interesting to see what a service is like. I mean it's again, it's PlayStation only games that I'm going to be playing on there or hidden gems that aren't aren't uh on Game Pass, but anything else is going to be Game Pass seeing what's on there. Um, moving on, quick hits here, because we got to get out of here. It's ten oh four. Um, for the first time in eight years, Xbox outsold PlayStation in Japan last week. Uh, I was reading some discussion what? about this. I think it's mostly yeah, there are, there are due some... that uh, the... Xbox has a better supply line right now. Yeah, there are some caveats. This is Xbox Series S versus PlayStation Five, and lifetime sales. I believe the PlayStation Five is still ten x the Xbox series sx but this still feels like like uh kudos to xbox for having like you mentioned better supply lines but also that 300 dollars xbox series s is looking like a fantastic deal you pair that sucker with game pass that's a fantastic console deal especially when the other consoles are 500 bucks both that, the x and the ps5 I, I, I won't come on uh comment on it too much but once you see ex extended times where they're in the lead instead of like one somebody commented it was like yeah. one yeah. out of like 465 weeks i'm like okay like let's congrats but i need point. to see i need to see consistent placage yeah. above but so. I, I will also say like they're 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 ahead mostly like it could switch over because it's not like people are buying the playstation 5 in japan because they have so many PlayStation games from all the previous g things that are backwards compatible on it and they can play it. Like, yep. basically, PS5 and Xbox Series X, S, you're at the same starting point. So people who look at this see you can get an S for $300 and Game Pass and all that stuff. Everything's digital already. Your friend can buy it, have access to hundreds of games. You're not worried about your friend group 
not all having the same console because you can jump. This is the generation that you could jump to Xbox or stay on PS5 that you can't get. Um, yeah, which I think is, it's, is a lot of thing that's happening yeah. here because it's friend group saying, oh, one of my eight friends got a PS5, but we can all buy Xboxes right now. Let's all buy Xboxes so we can play together. Yeah, um, major, major allegiance shifts happen cross generation as opposed yeah. to intra generation. Totally. So I think that's that uh, pl- definitely plays into it a lot. And I think that's in Xbox's favor um, on top of just getting those supply lines nailed down. Uh, and then finally, uh, CD Projekt Red announced that the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt next-gen version still coming out this year. Uh, Q4, still coming God out. Bless. It'll be I, here. Uh, we've <laughs> talked about this. We both yeah. tried to play this game several times, and nothing against the game. We just weren't in the mood for it at the time. But I like the Witcher TV show. I'm reading the books right now, and, and I'm enjoying them. I think I think this is it. I think this is me hopping in. I think this next gen version, as long as it's not horribly buggy on launch, I think I'm going to jump in and do it. I'm going to play The Witcher 3. There we go. Oh, He's in. I think me Come too. Honestly, it. like Witcher 3 is on the list of games that I would take to a des- desert island because I would have no other choice and there's tons well, of content. Factorio. I mean, Factorio, but like if I had to choose a game I've never played before, <laughs> oh, I guess well, I've played a little yeah, bit. I, 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 I choose true. the most tasty game, so I'm not hungry. So. Oh, it's true. Yeah, so no switch games cooking mama so it's, co- it's cooking mama yeah yeah it's cooking mama yeah her, <laughs> I cook it. Her cooking mama. Remember, when, sorry um, <laughs> remember when i i should remember when i bought cooking mama cook star just because it was like being yeah. pulled from shelves i should look up how much that's worth do you have it was physically? it game charts yeah i bought it physically oh, yeah. i opened it up so we could it was play crypto it. mining wasn't it yeah they were accused of being crypto mining and then it, but it was also that they didn't have the rights to actually release it Oh yes, that's wild. Um, oh, I just spelled cockstar. Let me <laughs> <you> do that. <laughs> I okay, Cooking Mama. You know, cook star I, for the- while you're looking this up, you know how we talked about how well Twitter is at separating you from the porn side of Twitter. Um, yes, I feel yes, like they do a they fantastic at job at that. Uh, that happened until I searched a relatively harmless Disney film. Uh, and scrolled, and the very first scroll, um, I will not describe in detail, but was two uh, people with, uh, I don't know how they identify themselves, but they all both had male genitalia, uh, and they were going to town. Uh, and all I can say is that person's, like, online presence name was... Where are we going with this? Was Disney movie, uh, like, performer... Uh, I'm just saying, I searched a Disney movie on Twitter, and I immediately was served wow. porn, and it was not what I was looking for. Well, it's probably, I mean, I thank God. it was <laughs> also, hy- I'm just saying, it was you. hyper-specific. Um, thank God. That. And anyways, I found uh, what I was looking for, which was the Disney I movie. also found what I was looking for, which is that the complete inbox <sighs> price of Cooking Mama Cookstar for the Nintendo Switch is... $25. So it has not Damn. returned on its investment yet. How much you pay for it? 60. <laughs> <laughs> I it was like half of it was novelty. This is a band game literally being pulled from shelves. So I got to get a copy. And the other half of it was like maybe I'll make money on this someday. Uh, you know, I you know not a bad game though. Not a bad yeah. game. I I had to record um I had to record some stuff on my 360 today for work. And um, mm-hmm. it was giving me some trouble. I posted in this in the I almost said save data in the subpixel Discord. I loaded into Skyrim, <laughs> and the beginning of Skyrim it just put me in the water, and I couldn't do anything during the <laughs> opening cutscene that was taking Perfect. place underwater, and my oh character drowned. Um, I didn't know you could die then, and it just brought me back to the main menu and said new game again. Uh, so, anyways, I got it that's working. The, that's the bug fix. They didn't fix yeah, it happening. It's true. just if it does happen, you it can just die restarts now. you. Um, anyways, long story short, I looked up some eBay prices for Xbox Series X or Xbox 360s Slims. It's not bad. It's like it ranges it's from like, like 60 60 to 150. Because right? um, my 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 nephew just bought one. Uh, I think because he had a bunch of 360 games he wanted yeah. to play, and he paid 60. Yeah, this this thing I got refer back when Best Buy used to do their um, website where you could buy p- returned things. So this yeah. console was yeah. refurbished and it's given me trouble. But I finally, I actually unplugged and plugged in the hard drive today, which they said to do, and it 
seems to be working pretty fine. Like, I can't tell if it's running poorly or that's just how Xbox 360 games ran. <laughs> how slow it was. Like, Skyrim took, like, three, five, it three is... to five minutes to load, and I was like, come oh, that on! <laughs> Honestly, that's not... Because think about it, it's either running off the DVD or it's running off the, the SATA platter drive. Although, wild, I, can, I still can sign into Xbox Live on it, and it has everything updated gamer score and everything wow, like that's cool 100 accurate uh it's, it's kind of wild for that uh anyways i'm gonna play the outro music so we can get the heck out of here um you guys can't hear it but and neither can the folks at home apparently so never mind not even gonna play the outro music this whole time i've been playing maybe it's the why are we playing Mario 64 music? <laughs> 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 do, 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 do. A bomb bomb battlefield too. <laughs> 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 Man, you nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they hire us, Nintendo? To be on board. I know, right? I. Oh, it's hard. Uh, you guys still it's yes, all food it's barn. anyways folks thank you so much for tuning in uh i gotta put the outro music here in post which is gonna be super fun on both the video oh. and audio version so thank you so much for watching jason thank you so much for being here i love having no you on the show your chill presence we always get to talk about chocolate milk ian you can go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> um, wow I'll folks, take it I'll take it he, every yeah. time I message him he writes fuck off and it's so annoying um, no it's not that it's you start a new discord group chat for local chat so I just get an invite and it says local chat here's the news it wasn't new it was the one we used new. last this time with Jason this wasn't new yeah cause so I was about screw. to leave the old one but he, he changed the title I was like oh, I don't have to leave and join a new one that's good no just so, yeah. stay in it never leave it um okay. I, I uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I've been your host, Will Crosby. You can find our stuff, subpixelfilms.com. We will be back Sunday for Sunday service. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Oh, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> find games to play, I guess. Um, but it's not really the point. The Lord is the point. Anyways, we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace out, guys. Bye.